All right, our In Days Drive series continues today, and this time we take you to Roseland, Virginia, at the base of Wintergreen Mountain. And we're going to explore a brewery that has become so much more than just a place to drink beer. Yeah, that's right. Devil's Backbone Base Camp and Meadows provides not only great beer, but also a place where you can enjoy delicious food, experience outdoor fun and adventure, and take in the beautiful setting that's tucked in a valley on 100 acres surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains. It sounds gorgeous. And each visit, you're sure to discover they're brewing up something new. Here on nearly 100 acres in Nelson County, you'll find Devil's Backbone Base Camp, Brew Pub, and Meadows. But this brewery is about more than just beer. This site has become a destination. You literally have to drive to us. We're in a very rural environment. Uh, we sit on 92 acres. Uh, we have uh, folks that come as far as Ohio, Pennsylvania, uh, West Virginia, North Carolina. They are getting in their car in the morning they literally drive here to spend a few hours and then they return back home. Uh, that's, that's amazing to me, uh, the dedication of, of determination to come here and experience Devil's Backbone. Ten years ago, Heidi and her husband set out with a simple strategy and a dream of creating a brew pub and restaurant. Today, Devil's Backbone has become so much more. The base camp here is more like a little village where you can spend an entire day. There's the summit where you can come for breakfast and coffee. The brew pub is open daily for lunch and dinner where you can experience full service dining. And there's even an outdoor bar where you can spend the afternoon listening to live music. And that's just the beginning. Devil's Backbone is expanding into distilling. Currently, they are producing several spirits here in their brand new 3,500 square foot facility. Right now, they are making the Mountain Cane Silver Rum, along with their Nellie's Apple Brandy. You can only get them here on site with plans to eventually sell them statewide. Um, we really see this as an expansion and extension of what we do as a brewery. It's just kind of a natural progression. Um, we really like to blur the line between what is beer and what is spirits, and this uh, distillery is gonna allow us to do that. Matt Casto is the manager of distilling operations here at Devil's Backbone. He's creating one-of-a-kind spirits from some of their more popular beers, like the award-winning Danzig Porter. I really love that beer. It's my favorite beer we make. Uh, so it was the first thing to actually run through the stills. Um, we're making a distilled beverage from malted barley and hops, and it's called Danzig Shops. Um, it really shows the innovation and the things that we can do to blur the line between what is beer, how malt affects different spirits, and uh, the different flavors that we can get with a new process. He's getting inspiration for new types of spirits here at the Hoop Houses. These garden sites have been created by Jessica Carter in just over a year. Already, she's seeing the fruits of her labor, producing herbs, flowers, vegetables, and fruits for both the restaurant and the brewery. Right now we're harvesting over 30 different varieties of herbs and vegetables. Just this morning we um, were harvesting elderflower that our lead distiller Matt Casto is going to be experimenting with to develop a recipe for elderflower liqueur. What Jessica harvests also determines the specials being served at the restaurant. At the beginning of the week I'll send out an email to everybody and say this is what's coming up this week, this is what we'll have and um, on the weekend usually you'll see some specials that are featuring hoop house produce. The produce can be found in menu items like the DB hoop house salad, the smoked deviled eggs with borage flowers, and the pan seared salmon with mixed sauteed vegetables. Fresh ingredients grown right here on site. Jessica gave me a tour of one of the hoop houses to share just a little of what she's growing and to taste that fresh from the garden difference. It's one of the really cool things that we're able to do is um, grow things that our chef wouldn't be able to purchase in the store yeah you know yeah. so that's really exciting mm -hmm. um, this, this is top soy this is a this is a, a cousin of of bok choy so it's an yes. Asian green it's a little bit more like it's got strong. a strong flavor yeah it's but I really like it for another rare experience you can't find anywhere else but here at base camp is the shanty. Uh, the shanty is, in many ways, it's almost like a hunter's 
a trapper's cabin or something like that. It has the wood-fired stove, uh, wood paneling. It's just a really nice, cozy place. Here, as you relax with friends, old and new, you'll find rare beers on tap. Jason specializes in creating and serving those beers. Beers that he says are designed to be enjoyed slowly with a good cigar and casual conversation. So this beer utilizes uh, orange peel at, in both uh, the kettle, the boiling kettle, and uh, the fermentation. It's hops with citrusy hops, it's dry hops with citrusy hops, it's aged on French oak. And so all those things kind of come together and it gives a very cordial-like effect. You know, this, this is just about just being here and enjoying yourself and, you know, there's not many distractions. It's just, it is what it is and it's, it's wonderful. It's like simplistic and classic, timeless. It's really just timeless. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I can just spend the afternoon here for sure. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much and cheers. You're welcome. Cheers. Uh huh. So whether it's the beer, the spirits, the food or the atmosphere, what you experience here at Devil's Backbone is all up to you. You have options when you come to Devil's Backbone, the type of experience you want to have. We're including Devil's Backbone Camp now, which will feature RV campsites along with primitive campsites too, so you can also reserve your lodging and walk over to the brewery and enjoy a pint of beer at the same time while enjoying friends and family. And previously, Devil's Backbone has only allowed camping for special events and AT hikers. However, that's changed. They've expanded to offer a campground year round, everyone to enjoy. Yeah, and look for their 25 room lodge and 10 cabins to open in the near future. Find more at dbbrewingcompany.com. And for more on this and other Inadays Drives, visit our website at inadaysdrive.com.